and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Pirate Swain. That's right, that's what we decided to call the deck. This is a Bilgewater Swain deck. Looks like we're going to be uh, kind of controlly. Lots and lots of removal, lots of damage stuff, you know, because we do want to level up Swain. Um, we're also going to be using a couple Twisted Fates, which are, you know, just a really good champion. And then also a Gangplank in here. And then we got like our card advantage with our Yordle Grifters and Zap Sprayfins, um, Leviathan going and drawing us our Swain, Riptide Rex doing its thing. Um, just lots of cool stuff in here. You know, like Parlay doesn't necessarily kill everything, but we can combine a Parlay with a Ravenous Flock to take down large things um, for just the cost of two mana. Um, Monkey Idol is doing a good job leveling up Swain with that damage and of course leveling up Gangplank as well. Um, looks like a bunch of cool interesting little pieces in here. So let's see how it plays. Let's see how it goes. We're going to go play over in ranked. We're going to go play five games and we'll have Pirate Swain. Up next we got Fiora Harrowing. That one should be pretty fun. Um, Zombie Fiora, and then uh, Frozen Fate, another Twisted Fate deck with Freljord and tons of efficient cards and seeing how that works out. All right, playing against Braum Lux, so probably some Poros. Um, maybe Monkey Idol? I don't know. I don't want to make it rain against Braum Deckhand. I don't know if I really want Monkey Idol or not. Not really. Try a new hand. Let's see what we get. Bunch of four mana cards. It's a lot of four mana cards. Yep. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Parlay is like our one drop that trades with other people's one drops. Definitely. You will be scoured from this land. Against this deck, you keep deckhand and make it rain. Doesn't doesn't like kill things. Gotta trust your instincts. I did, <clears throat> yeah, I just didn't think that like make make it rain. Deckhand would kill much. No, none at all, Rad. I haven't, I haven't looked at it one bit. I honestly don't know anything about it. Um, yeah, we gotta just pass. Greedy Me says cast Parlay there and then attack. That's really greedy. Not actually necessary. So we have a lot of Bilgewater cards in hand, which isn't good because we want... No, we want a Bilgewater card on top. Oh wait, yes, we did have a Bilgewater card on top. We took the Concerted Strike. Never mind, it worked. It worked, it worked. It worked. Um, Twisted Fate. What am I going to do with you, Twisted Fate? Or am I going to let you die? I can't have one more mana for Concerted Strike. What am I going to do with you, Twisted Fate? Ooh. You have no okay. alibi. I'm going to let you die. The reason to let Twisted Fate die is we have a new one with this card. We're not that close to leveling up Twisted Fate anyway. It's just two out of eight. Um, I could see letting Twisted Fate die. It's either that or go Nocturne Fervor here. We'll do Nocturne Fervor here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry, Valerian Blade. <laughs> <clears throat> My bad. Valerian Blade says flip 
flipping Twisted Fate, Twisted Fate leveling up is not really a win condition here. They're, we don't need to keep him alive. Whoops. <laughs> Hesitation to tell. Concerted Strike thick fits our deck well. That was a struggle. I don't know why that was such a struggle to say. What's up, make it rain? What's up, what's up? So Twisted Fate's at 5 out of 8. Your old Grip can be 6. Then next turn we draw for 7. We play Leviathan, we draw a Swain, that's 8. So we could have... We could have Twisted Fate level up next turn with having, you know, Grifter, then Sprayfin, then Grifter, then Leviathan, all being a draw 1. <clears throat> we turbo level one up. But it never expects the turbo level up. Uh, will this do extra damage? I assume so. What? It's not going to kill it. Is that not a spell? Come on, please do something. Please do something. Please do something. Thank you. Not that, though. Why did they get another card? Where does that card come from? Oh yeah, the Remembrance. Okay. So if they don't cast single combat, they just get to level up their Lux. So now they're not leveling up Lux. Don't have another single combat, come on. That'd be rude, just let this happen. They have another spell that they were able to put out there? Come on, just let this happen. Yeah, I thought that, I thought that maybe this would do an, an additional point of damage. I guess that's not how it is. pretty rough them having double single combat it's like their one removal spell and they had two of them that's pretty rough so obviously i'm gonna be taking millions of damage now uh and i guess that's just lethal i'm only at 11 See that coming. Taking millions of damage. Yep, looked at my life total. I'm at 11. 
And I was like, dang, 11's less than millions. Can't survive. It's too bad. If they only, if only they just didn't have that second single combat, we would have been looking pretty good. But they did. All right, eight mana cards gone. Make it rain. Also gone. Maybe I keep a Leviathan. Against low karma Ezreal. I'm gonna just keep a Leviathan. That's arguably my best card. Even though I don't need it forever. <laughs> Alright, punished. I fight with my spirit. More punished. Not my fist. So Mystic Shot's the only thing that they have that's fast speed. Yeah, so it's just Mystic Shot. I don't want to have like the two things out for next turn whenever they can have um, Static Shock. Yeah, I don't really want them like Static Shocking these those two. Nice Yordle Grifter. So playing Swain plays right into, like, perfectly into Thermogenic Beam. go the spray fin that leaves me with exactly with three mana to have you know because three mana is perfect amount of mana to bank spell mana wise If I were them, I would have stunned the elusive and then it just had my 3 2 block the 3 3. I thought about doing the Noxion Fervor so they don't, they don't get that. They don't get like the target with Ezreal or anything. Why are you here? But then decided not to because we could have just a fake gold card, but uh, I guess. this route. No, the point of Twist of Fate is, is it's a great card. Um... 
the point of Twist of Fate in our deck is just a great card. It can do everything, you know? Like, yeah, do we need to do we need to stun something and do two damage? We can. And then, you know, like, and Ravenous block it. You know, like, do we need to do that? We can. Do we need to... I guess I'll let that happen. Do we need to do, like, red card and take out a whole bunch of things? Especially, like, after we have, like, a, a Dreadway deck hand that, like, puts a Powder Keg into play. And we red card, take out all that stuff. We can. Do we need that card advantage? We can go blue card. You know, it's just, it's really versatile. It can do a little bit of everything. And that's why... Uh, that's why it's such a good card. And that's why it's in our deck. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. The spirit gives to those who listen. Heavy pockets, huh? Hang them by their entrails. Your lesson begins. I'm taking six right now. Ah. I'm just gonna kill this eye of the dragons. So they don't just get like the the two one life steal. Life steal and all that kind of stuff. Take that out. But maybe it's me not being patient enough. Maybe I need to save that for Ezreal and Karma. Playing Leviathan and having Leviathan get Will of Ioniad is the biggest nightmare, right? Like, that's what we certainly don't want to happen. It's just waste our whole turn and get it Will of Ioniad. Yeah, so they're just doing that so they can react. So it's probably better for me to just multiple spell and play Swain and the Monkey Idol. <clears throat> Leave the Swain so if they want a Thermogenic Beam. They can do that. Okay. I'd rather I'd rather that be thermogenic beam than Leviathan thermogenic beam. Also. What's Gangplank's level up? We're only at two. Alright, this is gonna make it three. Because I was thinking about throwing that parlay at him, but never mind, whoops. I didn't, yeah, I, it's not like I was going to be wasting mana. I only had two mana, and, you know, we could we could save the mana. It's not like I was, it's not like I had, like, five mana, and I was going to be wasting it. This is the likely turn of them wanting to play, like, Ezreal or Karma, and so I wanted to put the most pressure on them, and I think that that's... I think that's just having the Twisted Fate take out their blocker, so I have all this stuff that's not blocked, and I still have removal for Ezreal or Karma with like our Death Sand, Ravenous Flock, that kind of stuff.
Both Karma and Ezreal are leveled up. Peace begins within. Ionia speaks. I'll take my time. Your king has returned. Love it. Love it. Glad they're doing this not while Ezreal is on board and I'm taking a lot of damage. That's eight life I would have taken if they would have just had an Ezreal in play also. All the answers. Stop for those who I'm glad I kept that Leviathan. <laughs> the only card I kept in my hand, the only thing I didn't play. Okay, we got a similar kind of deck. I don't know, they got like the Gangplank in the middle. Uh, let's see. I like, I like House Spider, Monkey Idol, I suppose, and I guess Ravenous Flock. I don't know what I'm doing with Ravenous Flock or what I'm really doing with any of these things. Like, what are we, what do we really do in life? Who knows? Like, it's, I don't know. We have. Some existential questions this that need answering that just can't answer. Leave nothing standing. Always tearing down houses. House spiders, that is. And leave nothing standing. Not even a house spider. I can do that. What else you want to do? Wow. Well, we're allowing them to level up Gangplank and Sejuani super fast, but we are up a card. That's the good news, we're up a card. Sands. All right, Swain's at seven out of twelve. Swain will be leveled up anytime, like whenever we get a Swain, Swain's gonna be leveled up. Don't have to worry about that. One good turn, hey friendo. 
Hmm. I'll take that block. Oh, making it rain. No. Uh, I don't think I noxion fervor, do I? Turn six, Sejuani and Gangplank leveled up. That's pretty crazy. Best not ruffle our feathers. Yeah, opponent has curved really well. I'm really glad they didn't have another Mega Rain. We're still a couple of turns away from being able to have Leviathan, so our hand has now gotten kind of, kind of weak. There's plenty of killing left. No, I don't want plenty of killing left. It's a little bit. I gotta do this just so I don't. so my stuff doesn't die. It's not ideal. I wish we had a, a champion. Any champion. Like, do I Noxion forever kill the butcher? Blech. Clear off. Do I go like block block, go Noxion forever here, do three to the gangplank? Do th do three to them, put them down to eight. Jump the three three play for pray for Swain. Why are you here? I don't know why I I kinda just ran out of time and I just put these in front. Sorry, I got I got confused. Chump the three three pray for Swain? Explosives. I guess I don't understand what Swain's supposed to do. We then Noxion Fervor the other thing and then have Swain be able to attack because then they don't have any three power things in their hand. That's not very likely. Um, well, that block is looking amazing right now. That's looking like a really solid block that I had last turn. Now I can fervor and take down at Gangplank also. Something for all. These old eyes still see far and near. I'll show him pain. Line him up. Charmed, I'm sure. Hope it works. Nope. Oh, we had a 
chance. These Leviathans have been too slow. It's two games in a row. Us having two Leviathans on turn one and them being like the only cards that we don't cast. Been too slow. They they really did draw extremely well. They they really did. They um you know they didn't have like the the only way that their hand could have been better is that they had a Sejuani, basically, but yeah, they had everything. I mean, even even turn six, I mean, honestly, leveled up Gangplank plus Jagged Butcher for six mana is probably better than Sejuani. Yeah, those first six turns were awesome. Um, Oh, I like the Petty Officer. Yeah, I don't doubt that we shouldn't have Leviathan. I'm just... I was just making an observation with the two games. I don't have any doubt that Leviathan is not supposed to be a big part of the deck. Best one drop. I'm either going to parlay the Unscarred Reaver to, to free up one spell mana and then play Zap Sprayfin. Mm -hmm. Or play Yordle Grifter. I kind of want to do the Parlay Zap Sprayfin. Because I want this... I want this card to actually be a threat. <clears throat> and I don't really want to draw spells that... You know, this is going to draw a spell that costs three or less from the deck. I don't really want my draw steps being like those spells that cost three or less from the deck. So I, I like taking one of those out of the deck and just, you know, e even though each card is like a 3% chance of drawing, it's just, you know, like that 3% goes away. Um, but we're not going to draw, you know, make it rain for a, a card for, for turn now. That just increases our draw steps to be a little bit better now, because that's not a card I wanted to draw. And now I have an actual threat. Well, it looks like if I would have played the Yorl Grifter, we would have yoinked last turn and didn't yoink this turn. That's a tough one. I didn't want... So, Gangplank into exact Thermogenic Beam mana, kind of rough. If they had, you know, like... If they had the three spell mana to go with, along with the five, I would have liked playing the Gangplank a little bit more. I can't pull this back down. I decided that I should be playing Gangplank right now. I'm always up for a round or two. Uh, can't pull it back down, though. It's 
decided this is a good time for Gangplank to make it rain, actually. wrong with double make it rain yeah there's probably something wrong though So unfortunately, even if we get rid of both things that the Static Shock's targeting, they will still um, draw their card. I do know that's how that works. I've tried that before. I like where we're at. I thought you'd never ask. That's real six. Okay. No. I, I really wanted to like make it rain ravenous flock to get rid of that thing. Hey, got a host here. Suku. Welcome everybody from Suku's channel. We are playing some fun games of Rune Terra tonight. Currently playing a deck we're calling Pirate Swain. It has... One Gangplank, shot. two Twisted Fate, three Swain, and we are a damage base control deck with that. Oh, that puts him down to two. He's not that much life. Um, so I do have the Noxion Fervor that can potentially kill them. I don't really feel like just throwing Noxion Fervor away right now. I'll see. I'll, I want them to, to tap more mana. The spirit gives to those who listen. And, you know, once they tap out, then we'll play this. If they don't tap out, we'll just attack. They so got two mana. Don't think there's anything that's... Uh, I guess they can have... I have just the one mana gain three life. I suppose. spells. Ugh. I don't have enough mana to play Swain and also have both of these lethal spells available. Do have leveled up Ezreal.
Oh, why am I being so... Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I hate that I just did that. They're gonna... That definitely means they're gonna have the one mana gain three life now. Okay. I hate that I did that, though. I thought for sure I just lost, because then they're gonna have the one mana gain three life, untap, and, like, have it Nazareel, and... I don't know, like, a bunch of rummages and all sorts of stuff, and then I suddenly died. And all, all that bad karma. Uh, pun not intended. Because I did the cheers. Hey, I'm Ed. Hello. Sejuani Gangplank. Hopefully they don't have the same kind of hand as previous Sejuani Gangplank opponents. But yeah, like, so that's, you know, somebody has asked an earlier, you know, we talked about Karma Ezreal a couple of times, people asking about that deck. And basically my thought, or like, what I said about it, because, um, you know, some people think that it's like really good and what I basically said is every time I get paired against Karma Ezreal, I'm happy because I think I'm going to win. And that's not, that's probably not a positive sign for the strength of a deck when it's a card, it's a deck that I actively want to get paired against. Um, you know, that's right now we're 2 0 against Karma Ezreal, 0 2 against other decks. And that's, so I mean, I, I actively like getting paired against Karma Ezreal. Uh,. Mm. 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 Guess. Kind of want to pass, but I don't really want to pass. Uh, I don't know. Mm. So there, I, d I don't really want to attack in with Deckhand. They block with Omen Hawk, then they make it rain and kill my three things. Um, level up their Sejuani and Gangplank on that turn. Um. No Twisted Fate red card is not worth it. Neither is gold card. So we're going blue card. We don't gain that extra mana, but a random card in our deck is better than a 1-1 on their side. Especially when I have Make It Rain. We're going to be taking the random card. Eyes open. I probably do worry too much, don't I? pretty big. I'll go 5-5. Five 5-5 five. Five five is bigger than 4-4. Four four. Same size as 5-5. Five five. It's good to have the Gangplank that's attacking. That's for sure. You just get a free attack in. So big. Okay, so we're going to go with 
another powder keg, and then death sand. Be nothing left when I'm dying. Just the screams of a dying. You'll die. Got in a lot of damage this turn. With the four from the gangplank attack, the three from the death sand. You own what you take. Blur. Fear the power you do not see. Our gangplanks only had two out of five, so we don't really have a much of a chance of leveling it up, but our Swain is at 10 out of 12, so we have a very good chance of leveling that thing up. Hey, Nutter. Thankful Thursdays. That's a great day. Thankful Thursdays. Starting with thanking me for an amazing stream. That's also very kind. I like that day, Thankful Thursday. Let's get to it. Alright, so let's say I Alright, so how much how much damage are we taking now? We're taking five damage. And so if they have dang, I think it's gonna level up. So if they have Fury of the North, we take nine damage. We take an additional four and go down to seven. Oh no, because then I'd do three to this thing also. I was thinking about going three to this, three to them, that thing. I know, I know. Letting Swain die would be bad. Thought that's gonna level up. I was thinking that was gonna be a five-five. No. Okay, well that didn't work. Okay, well, yeah, that just didn't work. That was that was bad. Yeah, I should have leveled up Swain. I definitely should have. I mean, that, that was bad. I I was too worried about Fury of the North and didn't really know what I wanted to do for, for Fury of the North, and I just took too much time, and then I then I realized that I had no time and just kind of panicked and, and hit OK. And um, yeah, I know. I, I couldn't have let Swain die. Now they have that to frostbite all my stuff. I'm not Dang. My friends, though. Mm. Dark in the sky. So the stun, the stun wouldn't have mattered that turn, but yeah, I needed, I needed to just, I needed to cast this noxion fervor. I got too scared. Now they could have lethal.
time for new leadership. Stand and fight! Seize the opportunity. Me to two. I think that was my only play to stay alive, but obviously I messed this game up with the Swain block. Or lack thereof. That makes the warning shot in handy too. So that's that's something that I know I know some of y'all are mad that I you know I didn't you know do the Swain thing, you know, didn't do that better. That's really where you see the difficulty of streaming and playing at the same time of like tr trying to talk through everything and and uh, instead of just be instead of just focusing completely on the game and, and everything. I'm sure if I, you know, if I go back and watch that, I if I was just, you know, focusing on the game, I could have figured out what, you know, a better play to do. Um, yeah, that was I mean, honestly, I. Yeah, I probably should have blocked with, just blocked with the two two, and then done the the whole noxion fervor thing, and and made sure my like my Swain wasn't even in combat. But, um, yeah. So I know I only went two three, but that's I think that I honestly think that probably two of those games were winnable, or at least I could have put myself in a better position to win. I really didn't play this the best, and honestly, the last like couple days I haven't been playing the best, but that happens. Um. I like this deck though. I think this deck was pretty strong. Like this, this definitely felt like a strong deck. Um, you can't always look at the the records of you know like what you know whether you know just like a, just such a small sample like that. But I liked it. I think it did feel strong. I think that we kind of had a little bit too much on the four mana spot. I think that like one of these either grifters or spray fins needs to be something cheaper. I didn't. I honestly didn't really like the monkey idol that much. It's fine, I guess. It's fine. I like Petty Officer a bunch. I think I think we should have another Petty Officer. I think we have too many fours, not enough threes. I think either Grifter or Sprayfin, one of them should be another Petty Officer. I'm not sure which one, but I just think that that, that would help out just curve uh, considerations a little bit. Having eight four drops and four three drops, I don't like that. I think that needs to change. Um, besides that, Ravenous Flock... Ravis Flock's so meh. It's so meh. It's just, it's really hard to turn on. I don't know. It's, it's meh. I don't know if I like three Ravenous Flocks. It's so many. Like, if we were playing, if, like, if we're playing, like, Arachnoid Century, also, like, the, this card makes Ravenous Flock better. There's so many times you just can't cast Ravenous Flock. It's so meh. So I don't love it. Um, I, I, that doesn't mean I want zero, right? That means that I want, like, I'd probably rather have, like, one or two. Um, like, I could see playing a Death Lotus, for example. I could see Death Lotus, like, just, like, a single Death Lotus. It's a card that nobody plays around, um, that can, they can just have huge blowout potential, can potentially do a ton of mana for a Swain, or a ton of damage, sorry, damage for a Swain, especially when you have, like, Deckhand and Petty Officer, and you have like those, um, you know, you have like your powder kegs and then they attack in with like their, you know, 2-2 two -two that's challenging your powder keg and they attack in with like another card or two and then you just Death Lotus. Um, this is a card I would definitely be really interested in playing. So I would probably want to go like one Death Lotus over a Ravenous Flock and probably a Sprayfin taken out for a Petty Officer. 
Um, yeah, I think I would want to do those two things. Um, and then also, is House Spider honestly good? Is that card even worth it? Like, is this card is this card better than like Legion Grenadier being a blocker and doing two damage to them? You know, with you know, you just block with Grenadier, do two damage to them. That that helps level up your Gangplank and your Swain. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. How Spider is better than Legion Grenadier. Um, with this being able to block, <clears throat> you know, like basically. One thing that I kind of mean by this also is that right now the most important two drop in the entire game is Crimson Disciple. It's the two drop that's everywhere. It's the two drop that you want your two drop to be able to block a Crimson Disciple. That's like the most important thing right now. And Legion Grenadier blocks a Crimson Disciple. How Spider doesn't. So I would honestly prefer Legion Grenadier. Again, that's and that also just it helps out our champions too. So I would prefer that one. Um, let's see. It's probably about that. That's just a couple of small changes. Probably keep everything else about the same. It's a lot of eight mana cards, but they those eight mana cards are super, super good. Um, but yeah, I would, I would recommend kind of trying out some of those things, uh, especially the Death Lotus. Um, I... I think I would love Death Lotus in this deck, and, and very good chance that I'd want to. Uh, Death Lotus is. So cool. There we go. So there's Pirate Swain. Uh, good little deck here. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button, and of course, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck give this one a try this was definitely a good deck you know if you like playing your your swain control decks and you know want to have a lot more damage removal but also want like some card advantage with bilge water and just some nice little tricky stuff you get your super powerful haymakers with the riptide rex and leviathan give this deck a try recommend it all right but yeah thanks blair and blade all right anyway that's it here for pirate swain um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video